Do you hear Artie? He's so funny. Hi, Artie. We went on a little impromptu date tonight. This is Friday, November, what is today? November 2nd. And uh, we just, spur of the moment, decided to go into the big, big city. And we went to several stores and I got some Christmas shopping done and I wanted to show you what I picked up. But before we get into the haul, um, I wanted to uh, show you some video footage that I took this morning of the uh, flock of birds that comes, they come every fall. It's like migratory birds and they just, you know, inundate our trees. So I got some footage of that I wanted to share. And then yesterday I got an unexpected friend mail package. So I have some footage for, of that I wanted to share. So before I get into the haul, um, I'll show you that those clips. But before that, I also got something else in the mail today. You can't really see much, but this is our mortgage papers. We are officially homeowners. Our house is officially paid for and we got our mortgage in the mail today paid in full and I'm so excited it says right there paid and satisfied in full yay Travis was nine months old when we got this house and he and it was um, exactly 20 years to the day almost to the day because we moved into this house on Halloween 20 years ago and our house is paid off and it was paid off in October of 20 years later and I'm so excited that our house is paid off I just had to share that yay I knew it, it was I knew it was paid off I made the final payment but it just didn't seem real until we got our contract and our mortgage in the mail today all right I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around uh, first I'm gonna put the footage in of the birds and my uh, friend mail and then you will be seeing the haul that I did today. Every fall you get this flock of migratory birds that stops. They perch in the trees. It only lasts for about a day or two and then uh, they move on. But you can hear them. I'm not really sure what kind of birds they are. They appear to be some sort of blackbirds. Friends, I opened up my back door and lo and behold, there was a box sitting on my step. I got some friend mail. It's from my friend Carolyn in Australia. So let's see what's in it. I, I haven't looked in, I just um, cut the tape. So right on top is a card. Oh, how neat! It's uh, the continent of Australia and it's got a little kangaroo. I don't know if you can see that right there. That is so cute. This is the little tab that was on there and it's a, it's a yellow footed rock wallaby. Hmm. So I'm going to read this but I'm not going to read it on camera. I'll just share a little bit of what she said. Um, if, for those of you who don't know, 
in Australia, it's actually spring. And even though, you know, we're in fall in Australia, it's in springtime. And the one little line that made me chuckle, it says here in Australia, nothing says springtime like getting smacked up the side of the head by a magpie protecting their nests. They are beautiful birds and usually quite friendly, but come springtime, they are really protective of their babies. Um, she's only been hit once this year <laughs> so far. Oh. And the treats that are in the box are from South Australia. Oh, Carolyn, you're so so sweet. I just think that is just lovely. And she says, P.S. Check out Magpie Attacks on YouTube. I'll have to do that. You do too. Check out Magpie Attacks on YouTube. Ooh. Fru Chocks. Delightfully Unexpected Chocolates. Chocolate strawberries. Now, she did say these are for uh, the family as well. So we've got chocolate. Um, what are these? These are... Okay, so these are strawberry ones. She said that was a new flavor. These are apricot, it looks like. Apricot. Oh, yum. Two bags of apricot milk chocolate and apricot white chocolate. Wow. What a yummy treats. Dark chocolate um, apricot. Yum. And minis. Mini apricot. Awesome. Those are going to keep us in chocolate for a really long time. And then there's something else in here. Oh, it's a magpie. Isn't that adorable? It's so large. She had sent me some Australian, other Australian figurines last year. So I'm going to have to make myself a little area somewhere in my house dedicated to Australia and just have all the Australian things that Carolyn has sent me. And then I can pretend like I'm in, in Australia because I doubt I'll ever get there in reality. Maybe, who knows? So I'm going to set that down and I'm going to try one of these chocolates. I think I'm going to try the dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's my favorite. So I am going to try the dark chocolate apricot. I may have to try one of the strawberry ones too because I love strawberries as well. Mmm, I always like to smell my food. <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. So they're just like little round chocolates. Oh, I see. They're like a, um, they're kind of cold because they were sitting outside. Like a nougat center, you might want to say. Mmm, it's really good. You want to try one, love? Mmm, this is super good. They're a little bit tangy, but very sweet. I'm going to try one of the strawberry ones. South Australian Springtime Chocolates. Let's smell these. Ooh, you can definitely smell the strawberry. Mmm. Those are really good. Super good. Well, that's my calorie quota for the day. Thank you so much, Carolyn. That was so sweet of you. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm really glad I've gotten to know you through YouTube. And uh, you've just made my day. Okay, the first place we stopped was the big Dollar Tree. Now, the Dollar Tree that I normally go to is a, considered a small one. But there is a really big one up in Mishawaka, and so that's where we were at tonight was in Mishawaka, and so Scott took me to the big Dollar Tree. Um, they had quite a few things that my Dollar Tree didn't have, but I didn't need a whole lot of things. But I will show you what I picked up. I got this Merry Christmas sign. I just loved it because it looks very, 
woodland and rustic and country and it's super cute and I love the glitter on it and the cardinal so I got that and then um, there's oftentimes I have recipes that call for lady fingers and they are really hard to find and this Dollar Tree was the only place I've seen lady fingers so I went ahead and picked up two packages I don't really have anything in mind for them right now but I'm sure that throughout the holiday season I will be doing some baking that calls for lady fingers and I'll finally be able to do those recipes because I have the lady fingers and then they had the ribbon candy which is just old-fashioned vintage um, candy and I uh, wanted to get some this year for our family to have on Christmas morning and so I picked up two boxes of ribbon candy I picked up some ribbon regular ribbon uh, I have several projects in mind that I'm working on so I got some of this wide ribbon burlap with the holly berries and then this red with the Christmas trees and snowflakes and then I got some more of the thin ribbon um, red with snowflakes um, what is this um, have a holly jolly Christmas just red like flocked and then red with gold candy canes and sugar plums and things on it those are for some projects that I'm doing and then I got some stocking stuffers for the kids um, I got some peppermint junior mints because these do not have dairy so these are for Olivia these are just uh, Q-tips, but I thought the tin was so cute. That's also for Olivia. Then I got one of these popping candies for Travis, a set for Travis, a set for Olivia. And then I got some of these Russell Stovers. These are for Scott's stocking. And then, believe it or not, right across the street from this big Dollar Tree was a TSC, which stands for Tractor Supply Company. And that's where we go and get all of our uh, animal feed for our chickens and things and our goats and our rabbits and I needed some wood chips so I'm like oh well, let's go in there and get the wood chips because the duck pen we've been having a lot of rain and our duck pen is just so gross so muddy and so gross so tomorrow I'm gonna put some wood chips down but anyway I got some of these hot peanuts and Audie's mad because I'm not listening to him so anyway that's everything I picked up from the dollar store tree um the other store we went to the next store we went to is a store called gabe's and it's basically a store where you can get things that are mostly clothes in there but they do have some like home goods and things like that and it's all like overstock supplies so you can get things at a greatly reduced price so the first thing I picked up were these boots. These are actually for Olivia, and they're not for Christmas. They're just because she needs some uh, new boots for doing chores. Uh, the rubber boots that she's been wearing, first of all, are not insulated, and second of all, they've got a big old hole in them. So we picked her up some of these. These are um, Western Chief. I don't know anything about that brand, but we got them for... Uh, $17.99, regularly priced $72. We picked up this sweatshirt. This is for Travis for Christmas. And um, it's a zip up, fleece lined. This is for him to do chores in. It's just like a um, knit sweatshirt. And this is from the Big Ball Sports. That's the brand, and we got it for $14.99, and I don't know what the regular price is. Oh, it's a normally a $30 jacket we got for $14.99. He's mad because I'm not talking to him. I'm not paying attention to him. Travis needed some socks. And so we got him. These are not for Christmas. These are just because he needed them. Six pairs of Hanes for $3.99, which is an excellent deal. 
I picked up this cute little Noel sign just for me because I really thought it was cute. And I love the galvanized and the wood and the buffalo check. It's just all right up my alley. And it was $3.99. And then I picked up some wax melts. Uh, I can't, couldn't believe they had Goose Creek. Remember I had done a haul on my Goose Creek um, candles? They didn't have very many scents to choose from. So I just got the gingerbread, which smells really good. And it was $1.99, so about half price. They had this, I've never heard of this company before, but it's soy, soy-based wax, and it's cashmere and pearls, which smells really, really good. And then they had this, Burt's Bees Spruce Forest, obviously smells like Christmas trees, and it was also $1.99, and this is a big old, big old thing of wax melts. Okay, so that's everything I got at the um, Gabe's store and we went to one more store called the Christmas tree shop and so I'll show you what I got from there okay so the Christmas tree shop is um, obviously tons of Christmas things but they also have lots of other things like all kinds of kitchen gadgets and oh I don't know it's it just it was a huge store with so many things you couldn't even hardly believe but um, I ended up getting these four spoons they were $2.99 because, I don't know if it's, if your family is like my family, but what happens to our spoons? Like, we have everything else, but our spoons keep disappearing. So probably should have got two packs of them. But anyway, I thought that was a good price. Four spoons for $2.99. I picked up these... I picked up these plates, and I just love them because of the woodland creatures and they're that melamine so they won't break and they were $3.99 each so I just got four of them unfortunately they only had three designs so we had to duplicate one but of course we got the owl that would probably be mine the deer it's probably be Scott's because he's my deer uh -huh. and then I got two of the foxes because Olivia's favorite animal is a fox, and it was actually my favorite of the design, so I ended up getting two of those. But we're going to use these on Christmas. You'll see them in my Christmas tablescape. But I just thought they were beautiful. I absolutely loved them. Then I picked up this little sign. It's for a gift for someone. And it's wood, and it was only $3.99. I picked up these two empty tins. I give Christmas cookies to two of my neighbors down the road. And so I got this one, this Merry Christmas one. And then I got this one. It also says Merry Christmas. And it's the cute little deer on it. And I just I really liked both designs. And they're a nice size. We're given a good amount of cookies. And these were $2.29 a piece. Then they had all of their Halloween stuff, 50% off. So this bag of shortbread cookies was $1.50. And we actually picked these up for Lucy, <laughs> for treats for Lucy. And they come in like the little individual bags. And they're small cookies and they're softer so she can eat them. I'm saving the best for last. I could not pass up these cute little woodland creatures. They're so adorable. They were $3.99 each. So I got this little squirrel holding the pine bough. He's got a pine cone tail. And then I got this owl. And it's got like the little wooden... Uh, slivers of wood for feathers. It's glittery. So cute with the buffalo check sweater and the fluffy tail. So, so cute. So that's everything I, we got at the Christmas tree shop. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed that little clips from the last couple of days and our exciting news. 
and our little Christmas shopping haul. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.